Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to today's vlog. Um, to be honest, I'm not in a really good mood. I'm a little bit angry. It all has to do with a couple of messages that I got from you guys this morning. Not only on Instagram, Snapchat, also by a couple of my producer friends. Because it's now the end of September, beginning of October. It's now the time where the labels have to send out the statements to the artists. Most of your messages were like, hey, I got my statement, it says zero. I don't get it, why, how can this be? My track has a lot of plays on Spotify, a lot of plays on Apple Music. In most cases, or almost all of the cases, it's not your fault. Your track actually makes money. Because otherwise, why would the label even sign your track in the first place? invest money if they think they can't make money off it and if they send out zero statements to all of their artists something is really weird about it because at the end they're running a business and somehow it has to work if they have employees and office and everything else so it's usually the label just screwing with you so let's actually talk about this in detail what they do the techniques how you can prevent this and all of this but for me it's the first time to get a haircut i look like wolverine and I have a special event tonight the city's taking a hold Turn it up, turn it out Feel the high, feel it now So welcome to the studio I look fresh again, all done Even wearing the shirt By the way, if you're wondering why the shirt And all this kind of stuff Basically just wearing the shirt Because I didn't want to transport it on my bag Otherwise it would be like all cramped up i will need it for later tonight there is actually a holiday i'm invited to or actually not invited to it's just a holiday and I, I have to look okay kind of and to be honest my plan didn't really 100 percent work out but believe me otherwise it would be way way worse so happy i'm a music producer and i don't have like a job where i have to do to wear a suit every day i i couldn't do that i mean it looks good but daily the effort it's already enough that i'm making the daily videos so today's main topic is all about labels labels not paying labels trying to screw the artist and to be honest every single label does it i have worked together with like 15 labels big underground labels i've worked together with the majors although i have to say the major labels they don't do this kind of bullshit they do other things so in an ideal world the artist makes the music sends it out to the label the label thinks it has potential the label releases it with a distributor then when a person buys the track or streams it the distributor takes a cut usually like 20 25 30 percent then this part goes to the label the label is taking half of it and then that is what the artist receives. That's at least the case or the normal case, the usual standard case for digital distributed music. I'm not speaking about sales and stores, CDs, vinyls. That's a whole nother story because the production costs are so high. And I honestly, from my artist perspective and also as a label owner, I can't understand those labels. I, I really don't get it. There is an artist putting so much effort into learning how to make music. After years he achieves that, makes his first track, finds a label, is super happy about it. And then the label just, just tries to rip him off. And out of the 20 or 30 labels, and I did ghost productions for other labels, out of all of those labels, Never ever a single label sent me a statement without me asking for it. This never happened. I don't know why, but usually by the standard contract, they have to send the artist a statement every half year plus three months about the sales in the previous period so that the artist knows how much he gets, how much sales his tracks have, and like just getting paid as he should. So that's basically number one, how they try to mess with the artist, just not sending the statements. Number two, and that is very common after you asked as an artist for the statement, you will get a statement with a balance of zero or even a minus of a couple of hundred euros. And this also always happened to me when I got a statement. They just deduct all of their costs, mastering, promotion, sometimes even a fee for nothing. Sometimes these costs were actually really used and, and the label really paid for this promotion. 
but most labels nowadays they don't really promote they just release the music wait what happens if the track picks up and gets a lot of attention for whatever reasons then they might invest a little into it maybe they pay the mastering sometimes they even try to get the artist to pay the mastering so be careful of that a label should always give you if it's a digital release 50 percent everything else is a ripoff if you get less just walk away from the label and never talk to them again if the label doesn't do any real promotion for you or isn't a big label with a lot of followers just don't release with that label it's not worth it it's just way better to release it yourself on soundcloud and youtube see what happens gain a couple of plays and then try to get a better label if you get one of those statements with a zero balance and you have the feeling the label is screwing with you there are only a few options that you have so first of all i would write them usually they just try to do these kind of things and if you write them and ask about it they might send you the real statement the real figures and numbers and your money sometimes they will argue with you but usually the later stage where i was like threatening with getting a lawyer i usually always at least got the statement if then the statement is at zero you should ask them to prove you why they deducted those costs and show you invoices a proof that they spent 60 or 100 euro on mastering a proof that they spent like two or three hundred euros on promotion if they can't prove those things they can't deduct these costs from you because they do not exist. If they still refuse, the only option you have left is getting a lawyer, check the contract, see if, if everything is working as it is in the contract. Before you sign the label deal, get a lawyer. He should read the contract so that these things do not happen and you know what will happen later on. Also always ask them for the promotional costs before you release with them so that you know what they will deduct from you, that it's reasonable because some labels are tending just to deduct like three or four times the amount of money that your track actually makes so that they never have to pay you because most of the money that the track makes is made within the first half year and then it's less 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 and if they deduct like three times the amount of what your track makes it's very likely that they will never ever have to pay you and that's in most cases what they're trying to do Whew, yeah this is a really that's a topic that makes me really angry because there are so many young artists out there and even like two three hundred euros if a track makes that it's a lot for them that might be the next equipment that may be maybe like the rent at least if you're living in berlin and Düsseldorf, definitely not and that money that you make early on is very motivational if you release your first song and it makes like 500 bucks you're very very likely to make 10 more and and make 5,000 and and kind of grow your business grow your artist career and everything and it's just like a hard stop when those labels don't pay and they absolutely don't think for the long term uh, artists that get screwed by a label once will never ever release with that label again i myself will never ever release with one of those labels again that did this to me i never ever there is no chance so be smart be careful whenever you sign a label contract also if you run into problems if your statement looks kind of awkward weird also consider if it's actually worth it if you have a track that made just like i don't know 20 plays on spotify if this happens then it's not worth it to fight with the label over basically nothing so please let me know if you have problems with your labels what your statements look like if you ever received money in which way did a label ever try to screw with you what do you think about this entire topic please let me know down below in the comments and now for me time just working on music and a little bit of business stuff All done with work for today i i thought about a couple of solutions and there are unfortunately not really a whole lot one of them is definitely if we artists don't let the labels do stuff like that with us they they might stop or at least the labels that do it will lose all of their artists so i recommend you if you have a label that is like trying to screw with you just leave them don't release again with them and i just had a very spontaneous 
Yeah, basically had this idea very spontaneously, I will call it just sign up and it will be basically a sub label of my accents label, but a label open for everyone. If you have a track, you want to release it there, you can, there is no restriction I, uh, or uh, there is a restriction. If you just fart into the microphone and want to release it, this won't be possible. But if you've made a song that is complete and I can call it a song, you have the definite chance to release it, get it out on all of the stores. But let me think one entire day about this idea, see how I can make it. I will share definitely everything about it tomorrow or um, yeah, actually tomorrow in the vlog. It will be invite only at the beginning at least. And I will already put uh, the website live while this video is being published on YouTube. So just click on the link, send me an email and I will get back to you and see that we can put it out there. You keep all of your money. More about this idea tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually, or tomorrow is definitely a Q&A vlog. I will inform you about the Q&A on Instagram and Snapchat. Don't forget to like, subscribe. For me, it's now time to eat a whole lot and then it's time for, for this holiday. It's not a fun holiday. Run there, run there, run there, run there. I shouldn't wear the t-shirt underneath of this one. Yeah.